Hello everyone, good morning from Greece. Um, this is Irene from kalitechnimata.blogspot.com. Um, this is a, a mini I made for a very good friend who gave birth to her third little boy. Um, she lives in the UK, I live in Greece, but um, I really wanted to make something really special for her. Uh, she had a really rough time, um, but everything went really good and really well. So this is what I came up with. It's a mini album um, with really thick chipboard covers, um, like you know the chipboard that we use for book binding for the um, normal book binding. And um, I used uh, mainly Kenko's um, uh, what's it, uh, Baby Boy uh, collection, and um, I just used the uh, big envelopes and. Uh, book binding rings. So this is what I came up with. Um, for the actual cover, the chipboard cover, um, I used some of the ideas that I found on Follow the Paper Trail uh, YouTube channel. And I know she's a very talented lady and she needs all the credit from me because that's where I got the idea from. I haven't actually finished the cover, nor have I added the uh, ribbons at the side. But that is really something that I want to do tonight when I get a chance. But I wanted to shoot this because my scrap um, room doesn't have very good lighting and it's beautiful and sunny today, so this is the best time to actually shoot a video. Um, I used ribbon here and I got these off eBay um, a long, long time ago, so I'm really sorry I can't remember the name of the seller. Uh, they look like little mittens, like little socks, and they're actually handmade, so they're really cute. And um, um, I downloaded a lot of um, free stuff from scrapbook, scrapbook.com. They have free stuff, and you can just download them and use them in your minis. So I give credit to them as well. This is just um, a die cut element, a sticker that I found at my local uh, bookstore. And these are the downloads, the images, and I just fussy cut around them. Used glossy accents here, made a lollipop flower. There. And uh, use a lot of, I used a lot of making memories brads as well, because they, they kind of went really well with the um, colour scheme here. I have tags in every envelope so they can add photos here and most of them have been heat embossed with little sayings and images and it says a baby's a blessing here um, these are just little fun um, stickers that I got uh, bling stickers that I got at the uh, Euro shop and just a little tag where she can add another photo of the baby this pocket is an envelope I got in a swap at your paper pantry and this is just um, a sticker again from the same K & Co uh, collection here, what I did was I, I cut an SVG file that I got at freesvgs.com um, of this onesie. And I used my embossing pen all around. And these stickers, again, I got them at the um, local bookstore. Um, and um, just did a little tag where she can write things down. Again, it says, boys will be boys, here, yeah. and I can just insert everything in here, or she can just um, add more photos in there, or little mementos, whatever she wishes to. This again is from the same collection, this sticker. And this paper, it's a free download from scrapbook, scrapbook.com. 
Um, I have a rather good printer, I may say, and um, the reason I got that printer was to print out my own photos because I had too many digital photos and the cost was quite big when I wanted to print them out. And because um, I wanted to print out all the free uh, scrapbook pages and paper that you get online and um, this is one of them. This again is a, a free bingo card that I got online. I'm really sorry I can't remember where I got it from and what I did was I just added some um, uh, glittery glue and a little uh, plastic bling here. I, again I cut this with my Cricut and this is again from a free SVG and I did a couple of buttons and so she can actually put more photos in here and created a little border with flowers they're E-Line Prima flowers, I just painted them with some um, acrylic paint and added some bling this is a Sizzix uh, frame she can actually, it's a working frame obviously, so she can put photos in here and more photos in here and there is a tag in here as well where she can add what she wants more photos, journaling she's not a scrapbooker as I know, as I understand so I didn't do a lot of fussy stuff here so she could you know, fill around with it and she can do what she wants with it um, this again is just a fold out I, what I did was I used these circles and through my shortcuts a lot um, I tried to weld them together by adding in, in the middle um, like a little rectangle so when they open up they don't separate um, I don't know if that makes sense but anyway and um, she can fold it back in she can add photos or journaling in here and I'll do this later on and a little sticker and it's a cute little sticker of a little boy um, more tags in here and these are little mittens and they're heat embossed with white powder and a little bib um, this is from let me just think this is from Fancy Pants as I recall um, these are uh, sheets of journaling spots and I just cut them out and use them in the mini this is just a little tag that I cut out with my um, again free SVG and a little bling butterfly I don't know if it focuses well enough where is it? there it goes so again a lot of space for photos right this is again a free SVG from freesvgs.com and layered it on some blue cardstock and used some glitter glue so it's all nice and shiny and uh, cut it with my little Cricut I only have a little Cricut by the way but it works wonders so there you go and this is just a little element I can't remember what it's called but anyway and I used it over there and the reason I used it it's just because at the back I made this fold out and it keeps falling down through this ribbon it's a lovely ribbon by the way and um, it opens up like this it's an envelope but I made it into a folder and I used again these same journaling spots and um, just edge them with some ink so this actually goes in here and what I also did on the ribbon is I added some buttons um, after running through them some um, metallic type thread so it looks nice and shiny and in here again there's more space embossed little hands, baby hands and this baby carriage isn't it lovely Yeah, well, there's something wrong here, and we'll do it later. Um, again, another journaling spot here.
very plain, very simple. More little tags here with the butterfly and another spot for a photo. And again, it says da da da. <laughs> Lovely. And she can just add more photos here. Um, this page is rather simple as well. I just used my Martha Stewart punch and uh, punched a piece of paper that was left uh, from the same again company, from the same paper. A baby's a blessing again here. Stickers from the same collection here and there. And um, I made this little booklet. It's a, a milk bottle. That is why I embossed it with white powder. And she can just add journaling, photos, photo and journaling again. So uh, there's so much space in here. She can do many, many things. Space for photos. Again, a journaling spot if she wants to. Very plain and she can even use it to add another photo as well. Oops, sorry, was out of frame. And again another slider tag. You can add more if she wants to. This is just a plain page I just added some ribbon green ribbon and this is just a little die cut that I had and it kind of fit perfectly with the colors I was using and she can just slide a photo in here if she wishes to um, more tags in here big ones It was really fun. It took a lot of time to actually prepare this because I started doing this when she was pregnant. Uh, the baby's already about a month old now, so it, my life is kind of chaotic right now because my eldest son is has just started primary school, so everything's quite new to us, and um, not a lot of time for scrapping, unfortunately. This is probably my favourite page. I love this ribbon underneath. And this is again stickers that you get extra f from the collection. They kind of match and they're beautiful, dimensional on little pop-ups and they look lovely. And what I did was I took an I Am Roses rose and added some, um, oh, was it, what's the name, um, Cosmic Shimmer uh, paint on here and sprayed it and made this fold out with the same paper from the collection so she can add more photos if she wants to and added a little extra piece that I had that fitted perfectly the size so what she could do is she can add and I embossed it, dry embossed it, no actually yeah dry embossed it and um, she can just add photos or whatever she wishes to on here but it just looks nice and it, it, it really looks it coordinates with a little checked um, colours and you know patterns on the paper so this is the end here it's the last very last page and it's the actual chipboard um, cover and um, a felt sticker with a little duck uh, ducky and uh, uh, a little teddy bear and the actual image says my growth record and it says my personality and mummy says and daddy says so she can add more details on there um i hope you liked it rather simple and rather plain uh but um anyway it was made from the heart uh from the heart and um hope she likes it i'm gonna add ribbons here and i'm just gonna stamp my I actually did. Mm, just forgot about that. It says handmade by Irene. So there you go. Okay.
Take care everyone. Talk to you soon. Please leave a comment if you wish to. Um, if there's anything I can answer, if you have any questions, please go ahead and I'll get back to you. I haven't posted a lot, uh, a lot on my blog because I've been really busy with my son at school and um, work. <laughs> so take care. Bye for now.